So, <laughs> welcome to another video from theplayersaid.com. My name's Alexander. And I'm Grant. And today we're sat down with THE Gregory M. Smith. You know him from all of the Solitaire games you've ever played. He's designed all of them. Uh, <laughs> a little bit of a stretch there, but <laughs> yeah, the, the good ones. The good ones. Uh, all the good ones. All right. So we're here at WBC, and we're playing his... We kind of demoed a pre-production version of his new game, which is called Western Front Ace. And again, it's a Solitaire design. It's World War I Air Combat. Um, we kind of want to hand it over to you, just kind of give us an introduction to what this game is and what we can expect. Sure. Um, I actually got the inspiration uh, from Facebook on the Solitaire War Games group for this. Somebody said, you need to do Night Fighter Ace and, and take it to World War I. You know? Little did I know that there are a lot of World War I uh, fans out there. And gosh, I played Richtofen's War back in the day when I was in college. I was like, yeah, you know, all right, we could do this. And I started doing the research, and uh, a natural fit for me in this game was to work with Ian Cooper. And you guys might know him from doing, he did Raiders of the Deep, which is the World War I uh, sub, sub game. Yeah. And, but he's a World War I lunatic, for lack of a better phrase. <laughs> Great guy, don't get me wrong. I, I, I mean that in the nicest way, Ian. But the point is, you know, this is right in his wheel, and this is him, you know, so he was all over that. So he and I worked on the design. Uh, he came up with this concept of contact patrols, which actually made the game work, finally. Uh, and, I, and from there, it was just off to the races. And then I, I couldn't stop making airplanes, and I was just going crazy. because and, like, and the contact patrol thing is, they would do 40 and 50 sorties. A month, right? Yeah, they, but, they might they might run several patrols a day, or you know, at least once a day. So there there would be too many patrols for us to really record. But then Ian had the brilliant idea of, well, you might fly fifty patrols, but really only four, four or five of yeah. them matter because those are the ones where you had contact. Yeah. So hence, contact patrol concept was born, and the game works. Um, but we. You know, there's just so many, oh, got to have this airplane and that airplane. And so, uh, quickly became apparent that the prestige system from Night Fighter Ace uh, would work perfectly in this game because, like, for example, you know, the the, the, the Red Baron, Baron von Richthofen, his triplane, you know, they, they didn't just give those triplanes out to, to Joe Ding Dong straight out of flight school, <laughs> right? They want, they gave them to the, the bed pilots who had a little skill. So... As you build up your skills in Western Front Ace and your prestige, you get more famous, you shoot down people, you get awards and medals, um, then that unlocks the more advanced aircraft uh, that you can fly, assuming they're available at this period in the war. Uh, the game covers 1916 and 1918. It kind of did it that way because the first half of the war, the air, air battles were pretty, well, they just weren't fun. The planes weren't very capable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, starting in September 16, the planes are starting to become more capable. There's, and it and it worked. Um, other than that, I guess the other major departure from my normal game is that usually I just you can only fly one side. Yeah. Okay. In this game, you could be the British. You could be the Germans. You could be the Austro-Hungarians. You could be the Italians, the Belgians, the Americans, the French. And somebody else that I can't remember. So, how, how did a, another YouTube personality do in his maiden voyage as an Italian <laughs> well, pilot? Uh, yeah, did it go wanna, well, Dan? <laughs> hey, Dan did in fact get a victory. Uh, of course, nice. he also fell victim, uh, and yeah. he was shot down over no man's land. And uh, <laughs> but Dan, it got a thumbs up from Dan Picaldi, so I'll take yeah. that as a as a resounding <laughs> endorsement. Uh, happy for that. But, uh, so there are four, 42 aircraft, you 42 say? different aircraft split in seven different nationalities. And, uh, and also the, the eighth nationality is you could either be British Royal Flying Corps or British Naval. Oh, ah, okay. Because the British Naval were the only guys that flew the Sopwith triplane, which is a pretty, pretty nice. It's about yeah. equivalent to the uh, German triplane. Okay. Very maneuverable. Yep. But they only gave it to the Navy guys, so I, I didn't want to give, I, you know, I try to have a little bit of historical accuracy in these games, and uh, I think it shows. We, we whole lot of 42 different airplanes that the player can use, 
and they're all rated for their firepower and maneuverability, and speed, speed yeah. and everything else. Um, yeah, you put the research in, I know you do, and you figure out how these things all work together in the same environment. They do work well together. Well, it's so. the fun for me is trying to distill down the situation to what's important and then, yeah. and then trying to make it interact. The other major departure in this game from Night Fighter Ace, which is I'm actually kind of happy with, it's testers have loved it, so that's always a good sign, is the combat system. So I was inspired by Down in Flames. I love that game. Great game, yes. And I said, well, you know what? I mean, it's a game. At a certain point, you've got to abstract things. I thought, and this is solitaire combat. Right. But I wanted it to feel like a dogfight. So what I did was I said, you know what? We can have that thing from down where you're facing each other or you're advantaged or you're tailing. And those are the ma major uh, orientations. And then your speed and your agility will affect how those end up at the end of the turn. And if you're facing the guy, you can shoot him. And if you're not, you can't. You have to go defensive. And so I built that into the card deck. Uh, so you can either draw a card to defend yourself or you can use a standard maneuver. So you actually have choices. There's more, you have more input over your fate. And you're having, not just dependent on the card deck. And having played this, it's not a ton of extra stuff. It's really simple. It's not clunky. And, it, and it's very elegant in the way it's it works. Well, it's smooth. It works. Yeah, yeah. It, and that's... The, I'm glad you liked I it. Want, yes, and it worked really well. And that's also an Interceptor Ace, I believe, as well. Yeah, well... Which that's come out soon. Though. Interceptor Ace is actually due out in a couple months, and that's all done. But it has this same system, because I had to add a system of fighter versus fighter for Interceptor Ace. Yes. Because it's daytime, you're not hiding in the dark. Uh, and... Uh, so Interceptor Ace does have the same system. I've just refined it a little bit in Night Fighter, uh, Western Front Ace uh, for the World War One planes, and it uh, that a lot. The things that that I kept were the prestige system because it made sense. I kept all the medals and awards because that made sense. The skills are generally similar. Uh, reasonably similar. There's some that are a little bit different. Um, but the skill system also yep. made sense. Yep. So if it makes sense, put it in. Yeah. And the dress-up dolls. Which yeah, that dress-up dolls. Fun, you know, uh, like an apple. And what I was telling the guys earlier, which I, I'm kind of proud of, probably one of the few games, if not the only game on the planet, where you can earn an award from the Principality of Lippa. <laughs> <laughs> Look it up. Look it up. <laughs> or the Kingdom of Württemberg, for that matter. Uh, so if you're a German player, you have to pick where you were born, So because some awards come easier. If you're a Prussian or you're a Saxon or what have you. That was another cool thing, the front map. You know, if you choose to play the German side, you're coming from... Yeah. You know, that worked really well. Well, and another neat thing is uh, improvement over Night Fighter Ace is... In Night Fighter Ace, you have all these ace cards, and you could be an ace and sort of try to better his career historically. But in this game, because we have, it's a static front, and so you can play the Germans, or you can play, this is, by the way, just prototype. Yeah, right. You can play the Germans, play the French, play British. So what I did with the ace cards here is you could actually run into these jokers. <laughs> so if you're a British guy, you could run into one of the four German aces in the deck, or you could run into one of, if you're a German, you could run into Eddie Rickenbacker. Or uh, McElroy or Raymond Collishaw or any of the Brits or Australians or, you know, so that made it fun. Um, and how do your chances fare against one of these individuals? Yeah, you're you're pretty screwed, pretty much. <laughs> you better cut bait. Unless run, it's right? unless it's late game. I mean, they they start with a bunch of abilities. Obviously, they wouldn't he wouldn't be the Red Baron if he was, you know, Joe Schmuck. So right. they do start with abilities. They would be very difficult for you to survive unless you happened on, unless you just said, I'm out of here, uh, which would probably be, wouldn't be a bad call against right, the right. Red Baron anyway, right. but uh, you can, yeah, you could probably do okay against them after okay. you've played the game a while and you've built up your own personal skills. Can you imagine if you shot them down? Oh, oh yeah, so, that, would, so that would make your game, I think. That yeah, would be one to remember, but... Um, that show up in the London Times. It would. <laughs> Other uh, interesting aspects about this one to me are you've got the the different offensives that are happening oh, yeah. on the ground. Oh yeah, that, that was kind of nice. Types. A nice way to tie it in the. Uh, well, we have a have at least about a dozen major ground offensives. So the Somme, Verdun, um, 
the uh, the German uh, uh, Stasstruppen attacks in 1918, Mihal, the Blucher, the the uh, peace offensives, uh, they called them. So Caporetto in the uh, on the Italian front. So all these major ground offensives uh, allows you to sort of tie into what's actually happening. It, it isn't just you're flying in a vacuum. So it gives you a little tie in to the main war, what's going on, and you get extra credit if you do those types of missions. And they're a little more dangerous than just uh, dogfighting, so it's appropriate. Uh, but yeah. it, that was kind of that was kind of a fun historical time. Yes, and it was enjoyable having those things. You know, it's it's potentially you might get called up to go and strafe those guys. Right. Well, you know what's going on. It gives a context to the battles. It isn't just your you're not just operating in a vacuum. Yes. You know? So I, I had a great time playing this. And it was probably the best I've ever done in any of your games. Normally, I have the terrible dice rolls or the terrible card pulls. Yeah, well, which yeah. makes a difference. I'm like, oh, it's much more enjoyable when you <laughs> die immediately. Yeah. Although in this one, I wish I was shocked that Alexander lived through his first sortie <laughs> and but, got yeah. a vic and got a victory. Yes, and much and different medal. from well my first done, and a fight fighter. That was a disaster. Yeah, yeah, train wreck. Yeah. But, uh, <laughs> we had a great time with that, but that was a disaster. Yeah, but 42 different airplanes that the player controls. There's also uh, a bunch of two-seater recon planes there's like 22 of them so there's over 60 aircraft represented in the game i mean i i kind of went crazy but I figured, a little bit. why not you know <laughs> yes if I got, because if i don't include them you know i'm going to get a lot of hate mail so yeah, I, there, you go. <laughs> there you go and i well i know on facebook there's a couple belgian people already and i know that there's several italians who are excited and they should be so we yeah. we got them represented i very tried nice. tried to be equal there, but uh, so this anyway. one's very very fun. We were able to play this. What else do you have in the works that's coming down the pipeline? Well, you know, uh, this is my full time job, so in my defense, it's that's <laughs> might seem like I'm doing a lot, but really it's it just keeps me busy. But I do have um, Sensuicon, which is Japanese fleet submarines, kind of the hunters with Japanese subs. I've been working on that. Um, I'm working on a game called. Uh, America Bomber, Evil Queen of the Skies. <laughs> Great title, by the way. Yeah, yeah. Uh, which is fantasy, alternate history, bombing America with these crazy German, you know, secret weapons of the Luftwaffe kind of stuff. And we posted an interview on that one in December. Yeah. So if you want to check that out, go back so to the... I got that coming, working on uh, uh, another game called Imperial Tide, which is a, it's sort of a sequel to Pacific Tide. It's two-player. Yeah, hang on. Ooh. It's two yeah, player, yeah, yeah. Uh, but it's the the problem is is like I'll just real quick. Yeah, I love Paths of Glory. Okay, great game, World War One. Yeah, it takes like seven, six, seven hours yeah, sometimes. It's, it's a All right, game. it's it's brutal. Well, again, as same a design objective as with Pacific Tide, yeah. I want to do the whole war. Interesting decisions, reasonable results, but it's you can do it in two and a half hours. Yeah. So that's the objective. You know, it's a yep. clean system that's playable, fun, and you know, two hours. But you know, giving reasonable results, I think, is the difficult part of that design. But I'm yep. working on it. I think it's 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 past the initial stages. It will happen, I'm pretty sure. And it should be a compass release. All these should be compass releases, except for uh, Beneath the Med is my Italian sub game. Yep. Uh, that will be GMT. I have got an artist assigned, same guy that did Hunters and Silent Victory, so I got continuity in, in the art. Good, yeah. And uh, I love Ian. He and I work together. I wouldn't say we're to the Vulcan mind meld stage, <laughs> but we're close. Yeah, that's good. So that helps the art come along fast, and, and he knows what I like, and I know what. And the cool thing about Ian Wedge, the artist, is he sometimes. I'll say, I, I need this, and he'll come up with something better. You know? yeah. So that's the kind of artist you like to work with. Nice. So he's been he's been wonderful. Well, that is one thing you've been blessed with good art for, for all of your games. No complaints. Very uh, very good art. And 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 I will also say publicly that I'm thrilled that Compass gives me they give me wonderful support. Yeah. And I, I can't ask for a better team to work with. John Kranz is, of course, we go back 25 years, so we're kind of used to each other too. Yeah yeah. At this point. But, uh, well, you're a good guy. I don't care what anybody says. Easy to work with. Good guy. And you do a good game. Well, you know, it's it's fun for me. Yeah. I, I get a lot of self-satisfaction out of the design process. So, for me, it's fun, you know. And, yeah. and 
and if nobody's, if people enjoy the game, you know, that's my kind of my main payment. Yeah. I like to think. So one other question I had, you know, Imperial Tide, Pacific Tide, you mentioned that system. You've looked at some other conflicts. Well, you... I'm not going to spoil it unless you want to say The Pacific Tide, the real the core of that system is you have countries with production, you have a multi-year conflict, and you use your production to rebuy your previous cards that you've already played. Yep. And you get the current year for free. Well, what else would that apply to? Hmm. Everything. Civil War is a, comes to mind. American Civil War, yeah. Yeah, uh, there's already Oast Creek is already in the works from Compass Games and should be out this year actually. Okay. I'm thinking later in the fall, um, and that's the Barbarossa. Right. So yeah, I can certainly I can apply that system to other conflicts, and I think the Civil War is where we're going to go next. Okay. To be honest, um, I think that will be well received. Will very be nice. Yeah. By the way, the uh, the the. Advanced maneuver system in this game. Do you know where I got that? Jeremy White. I met him at. Uh, oh yeah. Jeremy, Jeremy White yeah. makes good games. He does. In fact, he and I were discussing a collaboration, so that may yet happen. Yeah. Oh, cool. Uh, that's news. Um, I'm, a, I'm on board already. Yeah. And he was, but he. Was, where do you sign up? He's the one who came up with this, and I was like, man, you are. Yeah. yeah. So I mean, five minutes after playing this prototype at at uh, Consum. Expo, Jerry Jerry goes, Oh, you should you should have advanced maneuvers. I'm like, God, you're a genius. Yeah. Oh well everybody knows that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but Jerry, Jerry so Jerry actually I, I probably need to put him in the back of the rule book because I like this edition so much, yeah. the advanced yes. maneuvers. Anyway, so that's that's about where I'm at. I've been keeping busy, but I thank you guys as always. Yeah. Well we appreciate you sitting down, playing with us, showing us all the, there's tons of games off camera you can't see. Yeah. And I'm very excited for when these come out and we can yeah. get them to the table. I think you'll like this one. Uh, yeah. I already You already do. It's well, great. all right. Yeah. I think it's a good game. I mean I to sound immodest, but I think <laughs> I think this will be Well the proof is in the pudding. Well we'll see, but I think it's I think it has potential to be my best. And I love Night Fighter Ace. I, I have always felt that was my best design, even better than the Hunters, although the Hunters are more popular. But I think this has potential. So we'll see. Yes. See how that comes well, out. Well, thank you very much for sitting oh, down with us. Yeah. My pleasure. You guys are awesome. Thanks, Greg.